Welcome back to SciTech Intermountain, SiteWorks training videos. In this video, this is the second video I'm doing for the SiteWorks machine control. Um, I have my R780 out there on the top of the stick. Uh, so I've got that out there. It's all I, The IMU is initialized. We got the machine going. The data collector here, if you look, we are in the machine control mode. Instead of standing, it's on machine, hence the reason why you're seeing the bucket there. And that's why you see this uh, dotted, not the dotted line, the black line. The dotted line here is because I turned on what was called cross-section uh, slopes and lines. So I'm going to turn off the lines itself and leave on the slope. So over here, it'll still tell you what the design is doing. And this black line is the representation of the bucket. So if I put that on the center, that's that line my rover is now reading off of the center of that. The cool part is, is I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually sitting on a hillside, kind of on a little bit of a pitch. But because the machine itself doesn't have a pitch sensor or a body sensor, the actual IMU sensor is still calculating kind of a pitch of the machine. And I wanted to show you that if I switch over the cross section right here to the main screen, when I reference and zoom in on the actual black line that represents my bucket, you can see in conjunction to what the actual surface is, I gain a body roll. So if I put it on the right side of the bucket there, you can see that I'm pretty close to grade. Just a little bit down, we'll come down just a little bit. But knowing that the machine is sitting on a slope, I just wanted to show you that the, the cool part of this system is it understands with that IME sensor that the machine isn't sitting flat. Also, that is one thing to look at and be aware of when you're digging basements that the machine still has to be relatively flat, just like it would if you were in a 3D machine. So we'll go ahead and switch that back over and show you the same thing, that these stakes out here are wall lines from a gentleman that actually staked this. So if I put that on the left side of my bucket there and come in here, oops, you can see that it actually is right there at wall line. We'll check a couple of these. It's so right there wall line. It's pretty neat. Um, the other thing is the functionality of what this can do, meaning with the data collector, is let's say you wanted to know what the slope right here of this hillside was. Um, you're not going to use the design because the design itself is giving you design on the cross section. But what I can do is go into my measure mode or measure type. I can go to new line and I can change this to a line and just go ahead and record a point. Let's just do it off my left tip here. So we got a point right there. And we got a point right there. Now when you stick out really far like that or come way far in uh, to the machine, that angle of the IME sensor may get off a little bit and that's why you'll get that warning and it'll take a second for it to regain itself. But what I can do now is hit menu and hit measure to cancel that out. I can go in here just like I would with a normal rover, touch and hold that, and go to line information. And now I know that that was a 14.79. It's almost a 15%. The other beauty of this is, is you can have all your contour lines on and all the different lines based on a VCL file or whatever was sent out from the CAD version. And now you can come in here and go to layers. And I know you can do that on the newer Earthwork systems with VCLs. But in here, we can do the same thing. We can turn them on and off. And we also have the background image. I do not have a background image loaded in this machine. We didn't get a chance to for this customer for Maple Mountain. But now we can have background images in the background for, that you could just normally with SiteWorks that hopefully we have for Earthworks in the future. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of show you in reverse um, recording a point with the uh, machine. And then I'm gonna go over and actually set the rover back out on the, the pole and show you that it all matches up. So. I'm going to go ahead and just pull up a little bit here, and I'm going to shoot this rock right here, the top of this rock, off of the left tip of my bucket. We'll go ahead and set up right there. I'm going to make sure this is on the left tip, and I'm going to go ahead and record an actual single point. So I'm going to go to point, and I'm going to call this the uh, machine control check two, because we already did one on the last video. So we'll put that as a feature. We'll say no on this. We're going to go ahead and hit accept. Record that point right there. And I will turn on point name so we can see it. We'll swing off of it. We got an actual point right there. So 
Now what I'm going to do is curl the machine up. We're going to go pull that receiver head off. Put it back on the uh, rover. And go shoot that. Okay, so once we get out of the machine, all we got to do is come out and actually grab our receiver head here. Just simply unscrew it. You have two options for this bolt right here. One, you can put it back into this little keeper on the side right here. But since it doesn't have a lock washer, it'd probably be a good idea to actually put this back in the cab of the machine. Now, when you get out here, um, I took the quick release off. You don't have to put the quick release back on, but when you switch back to uh, walking mode, which we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on the pole. And then on here, we're still in machine control mode. So what I gotta do is come back into this icon and I gotta switch it back to standing. Now, in standing mode, it still asks you right off the bat. It comes back in and says, are you using your quick release? Yes, what's your rod height? If everything is the same, go ahead and just hit accept. But every time you come back from mode to mode, if you go to machine control mode or back to this mode right here, with your IMU sensor, which is your tilt compensator, it wants you to initialize it again. So just simply, when you come out, go ahead and wave it back and forth. If any of you are familiar with tilt compensator, and it'll come right back in. Ours is taking just a little bit longer because we are running VRS and not bouncing off of a base station. So what I'm gonna do is come over here and I'm gonna set up on this rock right here that we just shot that point inside the machine. Right there on that rock, I'm gonna go ahead and level up. I do have the tilt compensator on, but just to show you, we're leveled up, we're on machine control check two. I'm gonna touch and hold on it. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to stake that point and check how close we are. We are within two hundredths to the side, five hundredths one way, and the cut is within one to two hundredths of grade. That's how close it just came off of our excavator here. It just came right off the side of the machine, came right back to our data collector, shot that same point. It's a really neat system. Um, like I said in the last video, hopefully the ability to use this one set up for a data collector to your machine one guy can cover a lot of ground do it once do it right the first time and have the whole site to yourself hopefully this video from site tech inner mountain on site works machine control helps out thank you